Hello folks, I want to do a, a quick video on the uh, Leopard of Daniel chapter 7. Uh, and get, share my opinions of what I think it means. And it says Daniel 7 verse 6, After this I beheld and lo, an, uh, lo another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. So in uh, a little background, um, Daniel chapter 7 has four beasts in it. They come up out of the sea one after another over time. And Revelation chapter 13, they're combined into one beast. And I'll, I'll read the relevant passage for you. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 1, And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. He had... Uh, ten horns and seven heads and ten crowns on his horns, and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a, a bear, and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have uh, had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world uh, was astonished and followed the beast. Men worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast, and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can make war against him? So, first off, the four beasts Daniel 7 are combined into one in Revelation chapter 13. Uh, and so I just read that. Uh, it included the leopard in the actual description. Of Revelation chapter 13 and the last uh, verse I read uh, verse 4 of Revelation chapter 13 indicated that um, and they worshiped the dragon who had which gave power unto the beast and they worshiped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him so right there is a, a, a indicator that there's something to do with the military and the making of war involved in these beasts. And so it stands to reason um, that the, the, the last part of Daniel, or Daniel 7 verse 6 where it says, and dominion was given to it, that that is a military uh, dominion in my opinion. So I want to share my opinions of what I think it means now. Uh, so, I think it's a military dominion, and I think you can see right here, this is from the Department of Defense, and in 2002, and they indicated where they had major military installations, and how many, in various nations throughout the earth. And so, the U.S. has... A, uh, like over a thousand military installations outside of the United States throughout the earth and um, that would be the Dominion and that's also the four wings of a fowl would be the four directions of the compass so to the four winds four directions the US has military installations around the world so this third beast I believe is military nation uh, in, in nature and um, so the four heads now the four heads because these four bees come up out of the sea over time in Daniel 7 and they're combined into one um, and this third beast the leopard has four heads what I think that the, the four heads are uh, related to the military and having dominion over the earth, I think that they're the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Now, right now, there's seven heads of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. But initially, when the United States decided to create a standing army after World War II, uh, there were four heads. And so, Daniel 7 is providing a description uh, at four periods in, in the growth of governance of the United States over time, starting with the 13 colonies, to the 48 states, to the leopard, which would be the vast military industrial complex, the standing army, 
that is led by four men, the Joint Chiefs. Well, it was led by four men after World War II, but now there are seven heads, seven men that lead the Joint Chiefs. And so, um, I think that's what it means, in my opinion. Um, so the leopard spots would be those military installations I just showed you on that, that image. And we got the four heads, that would be the Joint Chiefs back at World War II, after World War II. And dominion was given to it, that would be of course the military installations in all these nations. You, you know, typically if a nation houses another nation's troops, it's a vassal state to some extent. Um, and so... Uh, I think that, that pretty much explains the leopard. All right, well, um, best regards. I hope this video is a blessing to you. I encourage you to um, repent of your sins, believe in Jesus Christ, and listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit.